Real estate professionals are in a unique position that most working professionals never face. They often share their contact information openly with others, meet unknown clients, and walk through vacant properties, to name a few. It's because of the unique nature of this business that it's critical for all real estate professionals to have a personal safety protocol in place that they follow every day, with every client, every time. And that includes with you. So, what kind of safety protocols might your real estate agent take? When meeting you for the first time, your agent might not meet you at the property right away without first having an initial meeting at the office, regardless of you or your agent's gender. You wouldn't want to meet a stranger at an unknown location, would you? Hey, how are you doing? Mm, no. During the initial meeting, your agent may make copies of your driver's license and pre-approval letter for their records. This precaution allows the agent to keep a record at the office of who his or her clients are and a calendar of appointments. When first meeting with your agent, you'll also discuss the types of real estate you're interested in and walk you through the process. Now your agent can arrange showings, meet you at properties, and schedule open houses to help you through the biggest financial decision of your life. When viewing a property, your agent may ask that you drive separately. Please don't be offended. This is a safety precaution for you as much as it is for your agent. Not to mention you may both have appointments to go to afterward. Hey, this is cute. When viewing a property, you may need to sign in with your name and phone number or show a photo ID. This is so the seller's agent knows who entered the house. If you were opening your home to strangers, you'd want to know who was there too. As you tour a property, your agent may walk behind you. This is not only a routine safety measure, it also allows you to see the room first and make your own impressions. And many agents won't go into attics, garages, or basements, but feel free to look around and let your agent know what you thought. If you want to see a property that's vacant, it's got potential. your agent may only show it during daylight hours. Vacant properties should be seen during the day when you can see what safety hazards may exist, like a loose floorboard or any defects the house may have, like mold. When showing your property or hosting an open house, before opening your home to potential buyers, your agent may ask you to board your pets and remove jewelry, family photos, credit card receipts, artwork, prescription drugs, and valued possessions from the home. This is just one way your agent is looking out for you to keep your property and belongings secure. Your agent may bring a colleague to host your open house. If there are several potential buyers walking through the home, even better to have two agents on hand to answer questions and keep an eye on things. Safety is an important part of real estate, and we appreciate you respecting the protocols and processes that have been put into place to keep you and your agent safe.